Good day everyone. My name is JC Sikel Dimson. Join me as we listen attentively. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. One, two, one, two, three, four, three. Let's bow our heads and pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for making me an, an amazing and wonderful way. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our memory verse of the day is found in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 to 34. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and He will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. Please repeat it with me. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 to 34. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and He will give you everything you need so don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries today's trouble is enough for today Yeah. 
Today is a day that the Lord has made. Welcome to our Children's, Children's Church Show. Hi, Kuyal. What is special about the month we are in now? It is the first month of a new year, just like a fresh start. Do you have any resolution for this year, Teacher Leah? Mm, yes, it's a good opportunity to start something new. I will start to share the goodness to every person I will meet. I will tell that Jesus loves them. Wow, I had that same idea, Teacher Leah. Do you know what time it is? What? It's story time! <gasps> came to Jesus, knelt down, and asked, Good teacher, what good work must I do to have life that lasts forever? Why do you call me good? Jesus asked him, Only God is truly good. But to answer your question, you know the commandments. Which ones? He asked. Jesus replied, You must not commit adultery. You must not murder. You must not steal. You must not testify falsely. Honor your father and mother. The man replied, I've obeyed all these commandments since I was young. When Jesus heard his answer, he said, There is still one thing you haven't done. Sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. But when the man heard this, he became very sad, for he was very rich. When Jesus saw this, he said, How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. In fact, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were astonished and asked, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Now let's prepare our hearts and minds as we listen to Chaplain Josh. You might wonder then, why did Jesus ask this man to do something to receive eternal life? Jesus knew that this wealthy man was being held back by his many possessions. His great wealth was the one thing that was keeping his heart hard. To be a true follower of Christ and receive eternal life, we must give our whole heart to him. This rich young ruler was willing to give most of his heart and life to Jesus, but not all of it. His wealth was the one thing keeping him from following Jesus with his whole heart. At the beginning of each year, many people reflect upon their life and what they can do to improve it. How can we make time every day to put Jesus first? He wants us to talk to him each and every day. God loves us and wants us to pray and talk to him. According to Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Happy new beginnings, everyone! Hanggang sa muli po. God bless you and praise the Lord. Thank you, Chaplain Josh, for the Word of God you shared today. Dear God, thank you for giving me a home, toys, a car to ride in, and family who loves me. Please help me to be more loving and respectful to myself and others. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Amen! We will be a true follower of Jesus! Definitely! This new year is the new year we have just a new life. In Christ, we will give our whole heart to Jesus. God bless and goodbye!